Hello, I am CA Manisha Mehta, a woman entrepreneur and one of the petitioners in abolition of senior designation matter with the Supreme Court. I am also a litigant at various Mumbai High Court, Supreme Court, District Court and uh, my personal experience with the Advocates Fraternity is that judges do not give proper justification of their time to the advocates who are, does not have that senior designation. They do not give time for hearing. They sometimes even reprimand them in front of the whole courtroom. This is my, personally I have experienced this. Also, without any reasons, they just casually downgrade them, ill-treat them, which is not what the profession is made for. The, the whole judiciary is made for the litigant. And the litigant with such da, uh, lawyers, they are not getting the justice. They are not getting that fair uh, justice, fair trial. When, when, a, when they appoint a lawyer without a senior designation, so, so I was, I became a petitioner in, in this uh, matter with uh, Mr. Ne Matthews Nedumpara. And because I have personally and aggrieved because of this senior designation uh, um, uh, procedure of the judiciary, which I totally agree with Matthews Nedumpara that this system is against the fair trial for the litigant and it has failed severely of justice delivery system. So even the judgment which had come from Supreme Court for this abolition of senior designation, it has not given any answer to the agony of the litigant. It has, it has, it has miserably failed in addressing the problem of the litigant that the lawyer of the litigant who does not have a senior designation is given proper time, is given a hearing by the judges. This is my personal experience. Mr. Netumbara, is there any other way out to resolve this after we have not been given proper outcome of this uh, pleading which we have filed with the Supreme Court? Manisha ji, what you said is absolutely true. I am grateful to you that you took so much of interest, so much of concern and so much of trouble to be part of the petition, in a sense a part of the National Lawyers Campaign for Judicial Transparency and Reforms in its endeavor to uh, you know, have a judiciary uh, administration which is more citizen friendly, which is more accessible and which is more accountable and uh, subserve the, the, the real uh, the stakeholders, namely the litigants. So I am grateful to you and I certainly can uh, fully appreciate your disappointment. You came with us twice or thrice to Delhi for filing this petition and uh, when, uh, when the matter came for admission you were there in the court and you couldn't come for the final hearing because the notice of hearing was just received uh, 12 hours before and for exactly the 4.35 p.m. on the previous day. Even I had to rush, even when I was not well, I had to rush to Delhi. Fine. Now, the judgment, as you said, you are right. The judgment, there is not even a whisper about the grievances of the litigants. See, the, the, the petition had two aspects. The two kinds of petitioners were there. One of the lawyers, and they say that classification of lawyers into two categories, in the very face of it, section 16 says that there shall be two class of lawyers. How could there be two class of lawyers? And the very face of it, that is a, a discriminatory, violative article 14. Equality is the very core of our constitution. And therefore, the lawyers, when they are treated differently, and I repeat, the all senior designation, those who are designated, uh, the 99 percent of the lawyers who are designated are the kith and kin of the judges, senior lawyers and the elite class. 
There may be as an exception, one or two here, first generation lawyers being de designated. The fact that Abhishek Manu Singhi was designated at the age of 34, Rokhindan Nariman at the age of 37, Rahod Gage at the age of 39, and many others, simply because they are sons of the former judges or former senior lawyers or senior and powerful politicians, and that is there, I can't see any other reason. And this is a fact nobody can deny. And this, therefore, the lawyers, the 99% of the legal fraternities in the country is aggrieved. Why they don't speak? They cannot speak. Because if they speak, they are seen to be, uh, uh, they are seen to assert, they are seen to be uh, fearless, I speak their uh, mind, then, then there, is, there is no, absolutely, the chance of becoming a judge or a senior counsel is, uh, is, it is lost forever. And every lawyer today understands, realizes that either if you don't have a career at all, you don't have a future at all, unless you are a senior counsel or as a designator, as a, uh, sorry, you are a designator, senior counsel or a judge. So therefore, everybody, nobody wants to risk uh, their, their career. And that is why here, everybody, I have 100, 199 WhatsApp groups. There are 40,000 or 50,000 lawyers in my campaign, our national lawyers campaign. They call me, but they don't come forward in the open and join me because see, they feel that they, they don't even enter the courtroom because they don't want to be seen to be part of the campaign because they, they, they think they will be targeted. That is the scenario. So therefore, but every lawyer, every lawyer, except the one you are, the Kitangin, you are assured of a, a you know, designation and all, all the, except the elite, all are against the designation system. They are patently discriminatory, patently unjust, undeniable. It is as indisputable as sunlight. Uh, that is all. Then, therefore, that is one category the people, the petitioners were lawyers. Second category is a litigant. People like Manisha, people like Karan, there are many. So, the ordinary litigant, see, when I, I tell you, when I came to Bombay, I came to Bombay after 25 years in the bar, I'm almost 40 years in the bar now. And uh, one of my litigants who came, I tell the narration, a lady who came to me saying that, sir, I lost my case because. Just, uh, Justice Kanade son appeared in the bench of Justice R.C. Chavan and therefore I lost. No, but I said, Madam, you lost the case not because of that. You lost the case because the judge found that you have a, no merit. But how will I convince a litigant who feels that because a judge's son appeared, a judge's immediate litigant appeared, he, he or she lost the case. So therefore the litigant public, uh, the, the kinship, the Kitangin of the judges and senior lawyers, the Kitangin of the judges practicing in the same court, and the Kitangin being designated as a lawyer, uh, the designation system, and the system where the judges appoint themselves, and the, most of the judges of this country are Kitangin only. See, that is an undeniable fact. To, to our Chief Justice is son of a former Chief Justice of India. And the next in order, Justice Khanna, his father was a judge, his uncle was a great. Uh, re respected Justice Achar Khanna and we had Justice Joseph, his father was Justice K.K. Matthew. K.K. Matthew is such a wonderful great judge, I have greatest of adoration. But the fact, I mean, I am not saying every judge of the Supreme Court, I would say, are competent and deserving. But there are more competent people. There certainly is more deserving people because they are not recognized. They are no, they, because they have no godfather. They had no godfather to uh, propose them as a judge at the age of young, the age of under 10, the 40. Your father is not a chief minister, your father is not a governor, your father is not a chief justice of India, your father is not a chief justice of a high court, or your father is not a judge of the Supreme Court, your uncle is not a judge of chief justice of India. So, therefore, deserving lawyers, they are not recognized, they don't get. So, in our core of our constitutional ethology if, is equality. So a system, judges upon judges position is a public office. Every citizen, every lawyer deserving should have an equal opportunity and it should be seen. It should be actual and should be seen to be there an equal opportunity. And then, therefore, the litigant, uh, they consider that I lost my case because I couldn't engage a uh, senior lawyer because they are ill-treated. A junior lawyer is not allowed to, a lawyer, non-designated lawyers, even irrespective of their age.